Hi, I'm Erin Sullivan. I'm a certified sommelier through the Court of Master Sommeliers. I'm the general manager of Acme Fine Wines here in the beautiful Napa Valley, and I'm also a proud member of the Wine Sisterhood. We are here with the green beauty queen, Christine Trice. She is the founder and president of Brown Bag Botanicals, and also the blog, OMG, I so need a glass of wine or I'm gonna sell my kids. Christine, welcome, great to have you. Thank you. I'm thrilled to be here today to be sharing with you several simple facial cocktail recipes using seasonal ingredients that you can find in your kitchen or your garden and pairing them with Wine Sisterhood wines. Perfect, so tell us what you've got here. This looks delicious. It does, it does, and actually everything I make is edible. So um, what I'm doing here is we're gonna start with a cucumber cocktail. And I've added a little bit of honey from my mm -hmm. cupboard. Delicious. Took some cuucumber from my garden, peeled it and pureed it in the Cuisinart. And we also have a little bit of oat flour here, which is simply made from the kids' oatmeal that I threw in the Cuisinart as well. It's wonderful. Yeah, we're gonna mix this up to a nice paste consistency. Wanna add some wine. Always, always add some wine. <laughs> and that's for a couple of reasons. One, um, you're getting the antioxidants from the wine, but two, it's the fruit acids, and so it really does a nice job of exfoliating. Wonderful. Yeah, and so you're gonna mix this up to the consistency that you like. Mm -hmm. Apply it to clean skin, let it sit for about 10 minutes, and you're good to go. <sighs> this is so fabulous. I'm really inspired. Now, what about Pinot Noir? I love Pinot Noir. What are your thoughts? Can we work this into a facial cocktail? Absolutely. My favorite medium for any facial cocktail is red wine because it's so rich in antioxidants. Awesome. So what we're going to do here is, again, we're just going to mix in some strawberry that mm -hmm. I made from my garden. Naturally. Naturally. <laughs> exactly. And what's nice is you get the alpha hydroxy acids from the strawberries, which gives you a nice bright glow and complexion. A little bit of oat flour because that's an exfoliant and okay. it's very, very gentle. And this is actually a scrub that you can use in the mornings. Okay. It gives you a nice boost in the morning, really brightens up your skin. The important part. Complete. <laughs> With a little bit of Pinot as a wetting agent. You're getting the antioxidants from the wine. Okay. And you make a nice consistency. You're actually going to be using this to cleanse your face. Okay. So you don't want it too thick. Mm -hmm. You want to smell that. I want to, yes. It really smells like dessert. I mean, I would have a hard time not eating this, but. Exactly, so what you I... wanna do is make enough to last you throughout the week. Okay. Seal it very, very well in the refrigerator so that people don't steal it. Cause I actually had that happen to me oh, no. before. So it's edible and it tastes great. Okay, now seriously, I see chocolate on the table. I see Cabernet, I need to know more. What's this one? Tell me. <laughs> well, any good cab needs a good chocolate to pair with it, right? Okay. So we're going to do a chocolate facial cocktail. And this is a great one to do when you have your girlfriends over in an evening. It's great for a girl's night in. Okay. We're gonna start with some yogurt. Just plain yogurt? Just plain yogurt. Okay. You don't want anything with the, with the sugars added into it. You just want a nice plain yogurt. And what's nice about the dairy products is it has lactic acid in it. And that's okay. a nice mild exfoliant. It's really gonna soften your skin. The cocoa powder is loaded with antioxidants. It's one mm -hmm. of the benefits why we eat the, the dark chocolate, right? Okay, yeah, exactly. So just gonna kind of mix this in a little bit, and then I'm gonna grab my for, my favorite purple cowboy mm -hmm. Cabernet, add a dash of that, and mix this up into almost a pudding consistency. I like it. God, I can smell it. <laughs> Seriously delicious. <laughs> I love and, it. Yeah, and you're just gonna leave this on your skin for about 10 minutes. Okay. It's going to set very nicely. Again, it's very, very softening. It's also gonna kind of tighten your skin a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it's a great anti-aging facial cocktail. Beautiful. So now the beauty of what we're doing here with our at-home facial cocktails is really using ingredients that are simple staples in your cupboard, in your kitchen, in your garden, and always source locally. Um, so again, all of these ingredients were in my kitchen. And when you're applying these, you wanna make sure you put everything on cleansed skin. So I showed you how to make a, mat, or a facial scrub. Mm -hmm. And you can actually use that to clean and to prep your skin to use either of the facial masks that you prefer. And when you apply it, again, just use your fingertips, apply it over your entire face, avoid the eyes and the mouth because you will be tempted to eat it. Yep. <laughs> and let it sit for about 10 or 15 minutes. Simply just remove with a warm washcloth thoroughly and apply moisturizer and sunscreen as you normally would. Really inspiring, Christine. Thank you so much. So of course, we'll have all of these recipes up at winesisterhood.com, and we can't wait to see you soon. Hope you get inspired to try these yourself at home. Cheers, thank you.